What we heard from Carl June was some very exciting new data using multiplex CRISPR editing in combination with lentiviral vector delivery of a T-cell receptor targeting NYESA1. There were three patients treated, two with myeloma and one with sarcoma, and they had been refractory to all other available therapies and each of them receiving uh, multiple stem cell transplants. And this is technically a very challenging product to manufacture because it's a combination of delivering CRISPR-Cas9 with guides targeted at T-cell receptor alpha, T-cell receptor beta, and PD-1, along with the lentiviral transduction. Four products were successfully manufactured. Uh, three patients received their products, and what was seen was the engraftment of the multiplex CRISPR-edited cells and persistence long-term, both in peripheral blood and in bone marrow in the case of the myeloma patients and in a tumor biopsy in the case of the sarcoma patient. A concern had been uh, the immunogenicity of Cas9. That was shown not to be an issue. Another concern was the translocations, but in astronauts uh, there are translocations noted in healthy people and people traveling on airplanes there are translocations noted. Those decreased during the manufacture and they decreased in the patients following infusion. So safety was demonstrated, feasibility of manufacturing was demonstrated, and there is indication of some therapeutic uh, effect in the sarcoma patient with a decrease in volume of the tumor.